Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Nicole Ray and today we're doing a fun Halloween look. Today I'm going to be using the Bellamy Hair Extension Wigs with Tokyo Styles. They just sent me this wig which I'm completely obsessed with. It is a 34 inch wig, you guys. It comes with a wig cap, it comes with the hairbrush and then with the instructions along with the wig stand and the box which is absolutely phenomenal. I mean, look at that hair. Oh, platinum blonde but we're gonna change that so using these different colors because Cosmo Prof is completely out of multiple hair colors I had to use a mixture of different reds because we're doing Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas so I am squeezing all of these colors they're all punky colors so it honestly it doesn't matter which brand it's from I'm just mixing it all into this bowl and I am painting this all over the wig can you believe I'm getting rid of this platinum blonde oh my god and mind you I just got my nails done to match Sally's skin tone and I was terrified so I doubled up on those gloves because I was afraid that red was gonna go right through it so I just have all the hair here in red and I'm gonna let it sit for a little while here I've already washed it out blow dried it and curled it it is ready to go so we're gonna go ahead and start with the makeup so the first thing I'm going to do is just take this red lip pencil, eye pencil, whatever you choose, and I'm going to mark out the sections on my neck and on my body and on my face where I am going to want the stitches and scars which look like they have been torn apart on Sally's body. If you have not seen Nightmare Before Christmas, you definitely should. Anything Disney, all day. Uh, so I decided to go with red, but later on, looking back at it, I'm like, why did I not use a black pencil? But it's okay, you know, because hey there's no mistakes in makeup or in art there's only discoveries so here we are with everything on the face I'm gonna use the isopropyl 99% and a glue stick on my eyebrows which I barely have any but whatever here I'm going in with the beauty bakery powder to set that glue down and dust away and I'm using the makeup forever flash palette and I mix the teal and the white to create the perfect tone of Sally's skin tone which is like that pale grayish uh, blue teal color so yeah I mix the teal white with a tiny bit of black here I'm also going in with the white underneath the eyes just to brighten and highlight up underneath there because hey we still want to be pretty okay have a little bit of structure and here I'm just evening out the cream and packing on that beauty bakery powder in flour all over my face and I mean really packing it in Go ahead, pat, 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 pat. Bake, 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 bake. Just with that flower from Beauty Bakery. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, now I'm just dusting away any excess powder that I have on my face just to make sure that I'm really set because these are creams. You need to set any cream with powder. Now going in with my Ben Eye Black Makeup Magic Cake Makeup with the liquid set, I am going to paint in all of those scars um, that have been torn apart with black, which is why I said I wish I would have just sketched with black, but it's okay. I'm going over it all with this black magic cake paint and going in. You could also just use water, but I decided to use the mixing medium that goes with it, which makes it a little bit more waterproof. Um, and I'm just, you, you can use any type of detailer makeup brush or you can use any paint brushes to do this I didn't have any paint brushes on me at the moment so I went ahead and used a lip brush to do this um, and as you can see I'm just kind of following the sketches that I did and painting them in jet black mm. ready to go now using the blue Mayron paint and this little um, sponge thing that I got from Nigel's Beauty Emporium just to give a little bit of texture to the skin because Sally is dead y'all um, I dip that into that deep blue paint and I'm just stippling it to give some texture to the skin <laughs> there we go now using the flip it um, indie beat makeup palette and using the black to really matte out the black areas because using a liquid set it kind of leaves a little bit of a uh, sticky texture so I wanted to go in and really matte out that black going in with the BH cosmetics bubblegum palette with all those beautiful blues I am now going to be adding some depth into my eyes using different shades of blue from that palette along with creating the depth within my face going into my cheeks my forehead my chin jaw 
and um, on the collarbone. So you can add as much as you want. Um, I just decided to go with whatever I felt in the moment. Um, and the brush that I'm using is the new BH Cosmetics brush as well, that black set. I can't remember the name of the influencer that they did the collab with, but hey, I'm the girl who loves black, so I'm all for it. Now adding that same texture in on the brows and then going up underneath the eyes with that same depth that I use all over the face. Now using the lighter color, I'm going all over the lid to bring that out and make it protrude forward and give it a 3D effect going in with my lashes. I'm using the Batty B Lashes and Saucy, the CoverGirl Mascara, and the J Lash Glue. I'm going in with those babies because, hey, we might be dead, but we still need some lashes. Now using that same deep blue paint, I'm going ahead and making the marks where I'm going to make my stitches all over these areas. Um, and I'm literally, as you can see, using the back of a makeup brush. So whatever you need to use. Now I'm using these rubber bands. I couldn't find any string, so I used hair ties and Prosade, which I attempted to try, but girl, I went in with crazy glue. I know I'm crazy, you can if you want to, but I decided to anyway, I'm all to do whatever you gotta do for the art. So crazy glue made these stick, and they are literally hair ties that I cut in half and glued on the body. Now going in with that deep blue eyeshadow, I made that depth around all the little spots so it makes it look like it's really coming up and out of my skin. Um, and just doing the same thing on the chest and just adding the little details. Whoop. We are coming to life, girl. And don't mind that little hang time going down and glue it back down. Now going in with that red, I'm going to paint her outfit on. Um, one side is going to be red and the other side is going to be this yellowy orange. Um, to set that, like I said, it leaves a sticky texture. So I'm going in with the BH Cosmetics Cherry on Top palette and the Orange Sherbert palette to set those areas. And going back in with my black paint to create the detailing swirls of Sally's outfit. Let me tell you, it was hard for me to really just go in and do this on myself. I'm used to working on other people, especially when it comes to body paint, than on myself. So I think I did a good job. Yes, look at that outfit coming to life. Now I'm adding the stitches. X marks the spot. X, X, X it out. Whoop, whoop, whoop. We're coming together. Now just adding in a little bit more onto my skin um, to give that dead appeal and then adding the wig on to create the full effect. Ooh, look at that. Whoa, whoa. Now adding my contour in with those blues around my hairline and around my chin or my jaw and adding in that Dragon Beauty Liquid Red Lipstick to give that perfect Sally pout. Ooh, look at that. I needed to do a little bit on my ears as well because it was standing out, girl. And now just covering my hands because I'm a hot mess and I need to look all together. And there we go, honey. Look at that. I feel like I'm definitely in the zone. Now I need my Jack. Jack, where are you? I'm waiting for you. Hey, about those eyelashes, girl. Happy Halloween, everybody. I hope that you love this YouTube tutorial with my voiceover. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below if you like this video. And please share. Love you guys. See you next time.